Hello there, my name is Mark, and today I'll be talking to you about chemistry connections in detail in vitamin D deficiency. So the first thing I want to talk about is the organic chemistry element of vitamin D deficiency, or of vitamin D. So what is organic chemistry? Organic chemistry is basically the study of carbon-based compounds. Uh, in some of the more basic elements of it are uh, the study of the structure and some of the functional groups that can be in these carbon compounds. For example, there are alkanes, where there are only single bonds between carbon atoms. And for these alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes, these are all for hydrocarbons. So when the compounds are made solely out of hydrogen and carbon. And there's alkenes, where there's double bonds between at least two of the carbon atoms. Alkynes, where there's triple bonds between at least two of the carbon atoms. And then you can add the cyclo prefix if carbon is bonded in a hex hexagonal shape. Then some stuff about the functional groups. There's alcohols, where there's an OH group attached to carbon, and then an OL suffix is added to the end of whatever the compound is called. There's halocarbons, where there's a halogen bonded to the carbon. Uh, carboxyl, where carbon is double bonded to oxygen and single bonded to hydroxyl. And then how it relates to vitamin D3. So with structure, we have two cyclohexane rings, one here and one here, and one cyclopentane ring. Additionally, we have an OH group bonded to the compound, which gives it its OL ending. And I'm talking about vitamin D3 here, and the name of it is cholecalciferol. And you can see that OL ending at the end of the word. And then it's not any of the alkyl groups or an alkane, alkene, or alkyne because it's not a hydrocarbon. Because it has this oxygen. And then here's a chemical formula, C27H44O. So 27 carbon, 44 hydrogen, 1 oxygen. Uh, next, I'm going to be talking to you about covalent bonding. So it's the way that nonmetals bond. Uh, elements or atoms share their valence electrons, which causes these atoms to stay together. It can be demonstrated using Lewis structures, as seen at the right, and uh, molecules are formed this way. So you can use it, you can demonstrate it using dots, where we have one carbon atom being, or one electron from the carbon atom being shared with the hydrogen and one hydrogen electron being shared with the carbon. And it can be demonstrated like this, or we can use lines to demonstrate that. So these, this line and these two dots mean the same thing. So covalent bonding in vitamin D3. Uh, so vitamin D3, of course, is made out of entirely nonmetal atoms, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And in it, there's pairs of electrons shared. Or uh, that's that's how they bond. That's how all these elements, how all the hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen bond. Or I guess single oxygen bond. Uh, and then demonstrated at the left here, the same diagram from the last slide. Uh, this is what it would look like. Uh, them both attracting the electrons and causing them to stay together. And then these little lines mean double bonds. And then when it's just a single line, it's a single bond. So chemical reactions. So what is a chemical reaction? It's a, re a rearrangement of atoms or molecules, or both, to form a new substance. There are many different types of reactions, including synthesis reactions, decomposition reactions, replacement reactions and double replacement reactions. Uh, 
And now I'm going to be talking to you about the chemical reaction for the creation of vitamin D3. So first, we have our 7-dehydrocholesterol. And then that gets hit with UV radiation, also known as sunlight. And it is transformed into this pre-vitamin D3. So 7-dehydrocholesterol plus sunlight equals pre-vitamin D3. Then isomerization occurs, which is the restructuring of the molecule or the atoms in the molecule. And so the, all the stuff that's right here is the same as right here. It just changes itself or the way that it's shaped. So, and then the pre-vitamin D3 ends as cholecalciferol, also known as vitamin D3. Thank you all for listening. That's all I have to say.